Welcome back to the Back the Podcast. My name is Kane here today to give you my Week 12 preview and prediction for the 4-7 and Green Bay Packers facing the 9-1 and Philadelphia Eagles on Sunday Night Football. So let's jump right into it. The Green Bay Packers are coming off a devastating loss last week on Thursday Night Football to the Tennessee Titans in which they lost 27-17, which the team overall just did not perform at the level standard that was needed to beat the Titans, and they couldn't really stop Derrick Henry. As for the Philadelphia Eagles, they got a clutch Last-minute win over the Indianapolis Colts, in which they won 17-16 to against the Sam Ellington-led Colts team. And they're trying to get back on track after having their one loss to the Washington Commanders be two weeks back. Well, looking offensively at both these teams, the Packers surprisingly rank fifth overall right now. Just more or less the only questionable thing there being uh, Aaron Rodgers and his broken thumb. And how well can he perform with it? Because we just learned last week that, oh yeah, that's a major issue that he has right now. As for everything else overall, they've been pretty efficient, pretty such, and I'll talk more in detail. As for the Eagles, they rank 7th right now. Jalen Hurts was an absolutely amazing this year, top MVP caliber candidate. And passing game-wise, A.J. Brown and Vontae Smith look absolutely amazing. So let's go into some of those stats. Passing game, the Eagles do rank 16th right now over on the league. Jalen Hurts last week actually went off going 18 for 25, 190 yards, and one touchdown. So not, not crazy. Uh, Devontae Smith had six catches for 78 yards. A.J. Brown had five catches for 60 yards. And Quez Watkins had two catches for 31 yards and that single touchdown catch. The passing game for the Eagles looks – they could be either very silent. They're really silent deadly. They could either be absolutely killer or they could be eh, just – Eagerly proficient. My main thing to look at is Jalen Hurts in the rushing game, which I'll talk about. Uh, passing game-wise, for the Packers, they rank 10th right now in the league. Aaron Rodgers last week went 24 for 39 for 227 yards and two touchdowns against the Tennessee Titans. His three leading receivers were Randall Cobb for six catches for 73 yards, Alan Lazard with five catches for 57 yards, and Christian Watson going off once again and having four catches, 48 yards, and two touchdowns. Uh, their main thing passing-wise is, yeah, it's Aaron Rodgers' thumb. Is he actually going to be able to throw the ball properly. He's been really efficient. Touchdowns and getting-wise, passing-wise, it's just the quarterback rate that's kind of thrown off. And also, some of his passes last week just did not look like him at all. It looked like late 2008, 2007 Brett Favre. They did not look good at all. One thing to note for the passing game for the Packers, Romeo Dobbs is out. The Packers have a long list of injuries. It is absolutely crazy. There's a lot of questionable players. Lineup hasn't come out for tonight's game yet, but we'll see there. Um, so talking about rushing now. Rushing game... That's going to be a main thing for the Packers to focus on as the Eagles rushing game is absolutely deadly. Ranking six right now in the league as Jalen Hurts last week went absolutely off against the Colts, having 16 carries for 86 yards and one touchdown. And their actual running back, Miles Sanders, had 13 carries for 48 yards. You know, Jalen Hurts going to run around the pocket and that Packers defense is going to have to keep contain over him. But, you know... They probably won't, but we'll see about it. As for the Packers rushing game, Aaron Jones last week against the Titans had 12 carries for 40 yards, so really not that much going there, which is, I think, kind of problematic. The Packers need to run the ball a lot more, and when they do, when they did, they beat the Cowboys. Look at that. It works. As for uh, the backup, other A.J. Dillon, he had six carries for 13 yards, so they really need to get that run game going if they're going to have any shot, I feel like, at beating the Eagles. Now when talking about defense, talking about the Packers defense, they have slipped and fallen to – just absolutely not amazing at all. And I don't really blame that on the players. I more or less blame it on the coaching and staff and their decision making. As the Packers right now rank 21st, but they did get a pick against Ryan Tannehill. Shu Douglas had an interception last week. Quay Walker as an inside linebacker has been absolutely stellar in Devondre Campbell's absence. And Preston Smith last week had one and a half sacks. So overall, this team has a lot of talent, has a lot of stars, and I just feel like their main problem is just they aren't being used the way they're supposed to be. And I think that also comes along with play calling and coaching when you have your corners be 10 to 15 yards off the wide receiver and you're playing soft zone, which I think they're going to have to not do against Jalen Hurts and those deadly receivers that the Eagles have. I think they're going to have to keep easily spy contain on Hurts. It's going to be a very important focus to go in and just play the way you're supposed to. As for the Eagles defense, they rank second right now in the NFL. They are literally one of the best defenses in the league. That's going to make Aaron Rodgers' job a lot harder. That's going to make their whole offense just that much more difficult to get at. Uh, The Eagles defense had three sacks last week against the Colts. Their corners and secondary rank top five in the NFL, and their run D is absolutely just amazing. So this Packers defense, this Packers team is going to have to figure some things out against this defense if they want to get anything going Overall, this game is either going to be just a complete ball out 
or it could be exact like Thursday night for the Packers in which it was kind of like, oh, this is kind of close, and then it was just absolutely nothing. I don't really know what Packers team is going to really show up for this week. I really hope uh, the Packers just show up and try to get after it by running the ball and trying to get something. I'd really – my main concern I have is that defense against that really good Jalen Hurts offense. If we can stop Jalen Hurts, I think we could win this game. And I think it comes at the cost of we cannot play soft zone coverage and Joe Barry needs to send more blitz packages and move his guys around, confuse them, confuse the offensive line, do such like that. So if they aren't going to do that, though, I think the Packers are going to easily lose this game. I think my prediction I'm going to have is even though I'm really optimistic and hopefully they pull a dub, but if I'm being real here. It's probably going to be a not-so-great matchup for the Packers. I think they're going to keep it close all the way up to the end. I do have them losing 24-30, to which is kind of disappointing in a sad way to put it. I do believe Christian Watson will go off for like 100 yards and a single touchdown, and I think A.J. Brown will also do the same exact thing. So really good passing plays. And overall, I think it, the Packers' fault if they're going to lose this game is just they're not going to be able to contain Jalen Hurts. I think easily could go off for like 250 passing yards and easily have 75, 80 plus rushing yards against this Packers defense because they're just contained on the quarterback. It's just not good at all. So that is all from me. If you want to follow me on any of my socials, you can follow me anywhere here. Make sure to like and subscribe and enjoy some Sunday night football. And lastly, go Pack Go.